What's up, guys? Blunt Cuts here. This is a Watcher Realms video. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I truly appreciate it. Please do like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content. It really does mean a lot to me. So, as you can see, we are actually, I'm in the stronghold here right now. Let's take a look at the, the overhead view. So, we've got pretty substantial lead going on against Rising Legion right now. I have already done my attacks, so uh, you're going to get to see how they went. I kind of came in towards the end of this. Most of this damage had already been done before I started uh, today. So, I was left with a lot of the defenses that we had struggled against as a guild, and I tried to challenge myself and go against uh, some of the unbeaten ones. Uh, I was able, I will say, I did have some defeats, but I was able to beat every defense that I did go against today, which is uh, is nice. I think I am getting a little bit better at this game mode. I'm starting to learn a little bit more about it. Hopefully, you can pick up some things too, because uh, at the end of the day, I I'm just trying to share this stuff because I think that uh, as a community, as a Watcher of Realms community, we need to, well, we don't need to do anything, but I think it's fun to try to iterate and find these uh, these new ways to kind of tackle this game mode. Um, so let's take a look at my defense and see how I did today. Uh, I've got the Torador defense and also a Boreas Mari defense going on right now. Uh, nobody touched my team one, my Torador defense. Uh, I, I bumped up the BP a little bit. I added an A-bomb because there was a similar team that I did struggle against a little bit last round, and uh, I wanted to kind of duplicate that. Unfortunately, nobody attacked <laughs> I don't know if it was the BP that, that kind of put people off or what, but uh, nobody nobody went against that. I am 7-0 on my Boreas team. Uh, I'm a little surprised by that, if I'm being honest with you. Um, I think that the reason that I've got so many attacks against is because the BP is so low, and that is kind of tempting for folks. Uh, the reason that the BP is low is because three out of four or three out of five of the, the heroes on that team are epics. Their stats are inherently lower. Their BP is often inherently lower. I mean, Mari, for God's sakes, is in just pure rage regen. She does not get touched in this. Uh, Boreas is the only one with significant BP in the team. Even the, the tanks really don't have very much battle power. So uh, I'm a little bit surprised that people struggled so much against it. Boreas uh, is not what he once was, but it's good enough to take down the attacks that went against me, so uh, I am thankful for that. Uh, I wish I could have gotten some attacks on the on the Torador team. I would have liked to see how A-Bomb maybe shifted the dynamic on that, but it didn't happen. Uh, but without any further ado, let's get to the attacks. One thing I will say before we get into that is that I, I do have to apologize. I was a big old dummy when I was recording this, and I recorded the first two fights with the mic about three or four feet from my face, and as a result, the, uh, the volume's kind of messed up. There's a lot of echo on it, and uh, I do apologize for that. It's really frustrating for me because I just bought a new mic last week and I think it's really improved the audio quality on my recordings, but uh, that is uh, not the case when you don't have the mic next to you. So <laughs> I, I did my best to try to increase the volume. So it is uh, at least something that you can hear, but the audio, audio quality kind of sucks. So I am sorry about that. Thank you for uh, kind of persevering with me and getting through that. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy the attacks. Uh, please do give me some uh, some feedback in the comments if there's anything I can do better, if there's anything that you'd like to see that I'm not showing. Um, one thing I will say, I'm going to do more central keeps next time. There weren't that many for me to attack this time. I am going to do more next time. Let's get into the attacks. What is up, guys? So we've got a tough one here. We are going against this beastly defense. There's not really a healer in the bunch here. We do have Constance in there who is going to provide some heals, but she's not a true healer, so... Uh, there is that. Uh, she is going to be buffing attack, though, so that is going to make it a little bit harder for my Pharaoh guards to be uh, to be as tanky as I would like them to be. Generally speaking, the plan is we're going to deploy two Pharaoh guards. Uh, we're going to bait out ultimates that way. Then we are going to wait on uh, on cost, and then we're going to de deploy four of these rare tanks down here at the bottom, followed by uh, four of these exploders. The hope is that the exploders will go through. In an ideal world, they will take out uh, Boreas and Constance, and hey, maybe Cyrus. That that would be awesome as well. Don't know that that's going to happen, but uh, it could happen. <laughs> uh, but I think what's more likely to happen is we just get Boreas, and then we're going to have to follow up with a combination of the Shadowcasters and the Flyers. So, I, I, you know, honestly, I'm a little bit worried that my Pharaoh tanks aren't going to last long enough for this to work, but uh, I tried it on some other defenses. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a friendly face-off match that was going to really give me um, a one-to-one -one comparison on what this is actually going to be like. Uh, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to see how it works out. Let's uh, let, let's give it a shot. Uh, 
I am just not all that comfortable on the central keep. So I am going to keep it on one time speed this entire time. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna see if this if this works the way I think that it's going to. So there's our first one out. I guess I can turn turn it up or just waiting on costs. There's no need to drag it out unnecessarily, but it's about nine. So we'll do another Pharaoh Guard when we get close to ten there. There we go. So we got two out there now. Let's see how long they last. You can see that true damage is a motherfucker, unfortunately. So we're going to get up, back up to 10 costs. We're going to click. Oh, not a little too early on the click there. Okay, now we're at 10 costs. That's bad. I didn't do that right. Hopefully I'm not costing myself some seconds here that I would need. We're five now. There we go. Now we got our six costs. Drop these bugs. I, I will say, I hate the way that the camera works in here. I don't know if there's a way to, to fix that, but uh, it is it is fucking with me a bit. There we go. You see, these, the fair guards are holding up reasonably well, actually. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that that's worked out. And the question is, can we get these bugs in? It looks like Boreas just, just did something there. We got, we got Boreas. That's what... That's kind of the, I wouldn't say worst case scenario, but it's kind of how I thought it would work out. So there is that. Drop one of these and drop another one right on top. I hope that we have enough time to get back there and clear them. That's, that's really the biggest danger right now more than anything is, is can we get these guys in before, before the timer runs out? And I'm going to drop some shadow casters just for that reason right now. Drop some more in and hopefully we can just Clear out some of the back here. Cyrus should should go down relatively easily because he is a DPS Cyrus, I think. Nope, we're not killing anybody. We got two in. I don't know that we're gonna be able to take anybody out with the Shoutcasters, unfortunately. Well, that didn't work out quite, quite like I wanted it to. That did not work out like I wanted it to. But we got 20, so I guess that's something. Uh, the bombs took out... We took out Boreas. That part worked out. Oh, well, back to the drawing board, I guess. Maybe you might give us another go. I'm going to take a beat and think about it for a second. We'll come back. We'll do that one again, I think. All right, so I'm going to give this one more try. Uh, my hope is that by replacing the shadow casters, which were pretty, pretty ineffective, unfortunately, at that point, we were so tight on time. I just I don't know that that's going to work out. I think what we're going to try instead, we're going to do the same strategy. Instead of deploying the shadow casters at the end, we're going to deploy some flyers. Uh, we're going to hope that they can squeak through. Uh, that's the that's the hope. I don't know if it's going to work. We're going we're gonna to give it a go. We're going to see. Um, but I, I don't think that I really have time using this strategy to take out the rest of the team, which is unfortunate. Maybe I get lucky, and maybe I am able to get a little bit more penetration on those bugs and, uh, and some bug stration, and we're going we're gonna to go in and we're going to destroy at least Boreas. Maybe we can get Constance or... Cyrus or, uh, or hell, Pelagius, wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be amazing? So, uh, we had some success at least. Let's give it one more go. The problem here really is that I just, I'm, I'm not sure that these epic flyers are going to have enough, uh, enough tankiness to kind of get through. Uh, Pelagios, that's that is my main concern here, but you know we'll we'll just do what we what we can. Uh, it's the la it's the second day of the match, the the last day of the matchup for the week, so I, I do want to get points as much as I can. But uh, we're kind of we we have been doing quite well against this this guild, so I am I uh, I'm hopeful that that you know things can. There's one. There's two. Uh, I am hopeful that, uh, that that we can take out these keeps so we can crack the center and get in there. That's what I was trying to say before I got distracted. Oops, I am being real slow here. Hopefully I didn't fuck that up with the timing. I hate my PC. I'm so much better on my phone, but whatever. Uh, if you've been watching these videos, you know that's that's kind of a, a constant refrain for me, unfortunately. Oh, I see some bugs dying. There we go. At least we got we got Boreas. Oh, and Cyrus is down. Now I think we might have a, a legit shot here. Now we might have a legit shot. 
Let's see, what's the timing on Seth? Let's see if we can't get one more to go in and squeeze them in between Pelagio's ultimates. That is the hope. I don't know that we'll be able to do it. Oh, look at that. I think Pelagius just actually helped us out. No, he didn't. He did not. That's weird. They reset that way. Uh, we're kind of running out of time here. But I think we're going to be good. I think we got it. I think we got it. Here we go. Iterate, iterate, and try again. That's always the best, best policy here. Uh, wow. Center key victory. Going to be back for the next one. Okay, guys, we are going to give this one a go. So we're going to try bugs. Uh, hopefully this works. We're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel for these defenses right now. These are the ones that people have not attacked or they failed against a bunch of times. So uh, we are going to see if we can't get bugs through. If we can take out hot suit, we should be able to fly over. That's the plan. Uh, is it going to work? I don't know. We're going to we're going to see. We could easily get popped by uh, by elder. Uh, we're going to have to make sure that we're timing this so that we don't get hit by Valkyra's ultimate because that will take out the bugs um yeah we'll see i'm skeptical but uh you know it's the best best idea that i've got for it so far so <laughs> we're gonna see how it works out let's give it a go so we'll start on 2 2x speed and we're gonna wait until we get up to 10. there we go and we're gonna start off with one pharaoh guard we're gonna send in a second pharaoh guard in a second as soon as we get back up to 10. do we need to really i think we've got time to so i think that's what we will do just take away some of his block that seems to be the way to go it does not seem as though the pharaoh guard has taken any damage from his valk so that's a good sign we're gonna get down to uh let's say about six seconds on Valk, and then we will toss in bugs. We should be back up to, well, we gotta back, get back up to nine cost at least, right? So, there we go. I'm gonna give it one, one more second. Let's get down to four. There we go. That's what we want to see. All right. Now we're just gonna send our bugs out there and we're gonna, we're gonna pray. Cause that's what we do. Not a religious man, but I do need God in my life right now. Go, Bugs, go. They didn't get him. Ah, I should have baited Hatsit's ultimate. That is something that I should have done. I did not do. That is unfortunate. Well, we can come back and try again. Uh, I, I think I will try to at least make an attempt at a, at a flyover here. I, I think that, that that's worth trying at least. We're not gonna be able to, I, it's not gonna work i i can already say it's not gonna work but uh you know what whatever let's uh let's lead with one of these let's see if we can't waste hats it's ultimate and then we can go in with the other guys and we should be able to squeeze that in before val gets our ultimate back up that's that's the hope anyway oops <laughs> Well, this one may not be making the this one may not be making the the video. <laughs> see see about that. That was supposed to be flyers going over, but you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> I feel like a Lego flyer. No, he almost got in, but he didn't make it in. Okay. Well, that was a, a big old fuck up on my part. So, what are you going to do? Uh, we'll send some more flyers, but we're uh, we got boned. We got boned there. Uh, I, I wonder if if Elder kind of fucked that up with the bugs. OK, well, we're going to try this one more time. We're going to quit on this We're gonna go back. I think I can get in with bugs. Uh, we will see. But that was not that was poorly executed on my part, so. <laughs> Oh, did I get one on there? I did get one on there. Oh, okay. I, one of my Lego flyers did get in. That's interesting. Uh, I didn't think that would have happened, but uh, all right. Well, uh, let's let's try this again. Let's do it one more time. Huh? All right.
Okay, so we're going to start. We're going to do the same thing. Uh, I, I don't think that the setup was really the issue there. Uh, so let's let's go back in with our our guys here. I wonder if I do one bugs. I think if I, I do one spiders, two bugs, that might be better. It might be give me better odds. So the only issue here is Valk's ultimate. I just I hope that it's not gonna get popped again before I can get my bugs back out. But I don't think we have much choice, so that's what we're gonna do. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Okay. Now we should be able to fly over if we can time it right. How much time do we have left? We've got a minute and a half left. That should be more than enough time. Uh, we're just going to wait until we get down to... Let's see. Ten seconds left. I think that should be good, but we got to get back up to ten cost. So we're going to lead with one of these guys. And we're going to send these guys in as well. And we should be golden. Let's see. So long as they get in in time. But the Lego's not going to die. So there we go. All right. We're good. Redemption. Uh, probably could have done that the first time. But what are you going to do? I'll be back for the next one. Okay. Next one up. This one has been kind of a thorn in our side. There are a couple of defenses that are kind of similar to this spread throughout this guild. Uh, a lot of Praetis defenses, which is rather frustrating. Um, he's a little overpowered if you didn't know. So uh, what I've seen almost work here is going in with these rare tank killers. The frustrating thing about this defense is you essentially have to kill Broke here three times. You're going to have to kill him once and pop his unyielding. He's going to get healed up by Hollow after that. Then you're going to have to kill him a second time and he's going to get rezzed by Valkyra. And uh, then you're going to have to kill him a third time. And and getting the timing right so that your heroes are your heroes your demon soldiers are all alive uh long enough to actually take him out each time before Praetis you know pops them or Valk pops them you have to work around Valk and Praetis's ultimates from what I saw Maul is not a damage dealer in this he is probably built in a high speed high rage regen build so that he can just crowd control but the plan is going to be to try to try to take out Broke here and then I can follow up with the Lightning Guards, they should be able to take out Praetis and Hollow, uh, and and maybe even Valkyra, honestly. I don't think Valkyra is going to be able to kill them. I'm going to have to hope that uh, they, I can time them so that they're going, and, and they either get close enough to Valk to kill her before the ultimate kills them, or uh, that I can just fly over her before the, before the ultimate goes off. That That is the hope. We're going to see if it works out that way. Uh, I'm a little skeptical. Uh, this has bested a bunch of people in here. Um, I do have the Pharaoh Guard in there just in case I need to bait Valk's ultimate, which I think is going to need to happen uh, after the first set. I'm going to need to um, hopefully go in and and once the first round of ultimates is done, I'll follow up with uh, with my tank killers, the Shadowcasters and the Axe Slaughterers. Hopefully that, that'll be enough to pop Broke here and pop Valk's res. And then I'm going to have to follow up in order to bait out Valk's ultimate, maybe Praetis' ultimate, honestly, as well. So anyway... That is a lot of buildup for this. Let's see if I can get it down. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Broke here so we can pause the game, essentially. Drop in one. And a second set here. And we're going to go, and we're going to see if we can't get Broke here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's an unyielding pop right there. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Of course, the ultimates are about to go off. I believe Praetis popped his yet. Yeah, Praetis has his popped. They're going to start dying. It would be awesome if they could get him down, and they might be able to if they could get another hit in on him. One more hit, baby. Come on. No, they're not going to do it. Okay. Well, we're going to drop in one of these guys right here because we've got time, and we want to keep these ultimates rolling. 
Maybe I shouldn't have done that now that I'm thinking about it. Well, we're going to see how it works out. We are going to see how it works out. We might have to wait for Praetis' ultimate one more time, which, again, this is what I'm talking about. The timing is rough because if one or the other of Praetis' or Valk's is up, then we are going to be kind of screwed. So uh, we're going to see. We do see Brokir just, did just pop his, so I think I might take a chance. And once that shield is gone, we may send in our tank busters here. Praetis is about to pop his ultimate. He may kill my Pharaoh. We're going to see. Can we do it? How's Valk's looking here? We have time on Valk? We do have time on Valk. I think we're going to do it. I think that we are going to do it. Let's give it a go. See if we can't. There we go. There's the res. Oh, and he's down, baby. That's right. And Valk is going to get crushed right now. And we're just going to walk on home. Praetis down. I love it. I shouldn't gloat, but I, I I just I watched this. I've watched all of the replays on this a bunch of times. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So uh, I guess I'm going to give myself another one of these. So proud of myself. Uh, I will be back for the next one. OK, guys, so we are going to try this one. It is. Almost the same team that we just faced, honestly, the, the big difference is that we've got uh, a vortex in there instead of hollow. That is a pretty substantial difference because we're going to be getting shields on broke here. We're also going to be getting bigger single target heals. So this, this is going to be a little bit more challenging. I'm not sure that the same strategy is going to work, but we are going to give it a try and we're going to see if, uh, if we can't get it down. I think the BP on this team is slightly lower than the other one that we were facing. So that might be work to our favor too, but, uh, Hey, who knows? Let's uh, <laughs> let's let's see if it works out. So generally, the strategy is going to be we're going to start out with these rare uh, these rare tank busters on the right hand side. They're going to take down uh, broke here to his unyielding. Hopefully, uh, if if we get really lucky and his his heroes are not well built, then potentially we could even get him down to Valk's res. That would be amazing as well. But uh, other than that, we we're, we're just going to try and send in the uh, the Pharaoh after that to uh, bait out ultimates, and then we'll try to time it with. Um, with these uh, shadow casters and the axe slaughters. Uh, what I saw last time was that Praetis' ultimate did not actually end up kind of destroying the, the shadow casters and axe slaughters. So maybe, maybe that the real important thing is to make sure that I don't have both up at once. Anyway, we're going to give it a go. We'll see how it works out. I'll click on this broke here, right here. As soon as it lets me turn on one time speed. And then we're going to pop out these guys immediately. Let's see if we can't get that unyielding down. Chunk it in pretty good. There we go. That's what we like to see. So I don't think they're, they're not going to live through this. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> so we will wait. We will wait out these ultimates. Although I guess we could probably send out a Pharaoh guard uh, at one point just to give Maul somebody to attack. I think that's that is uh, that's not a bad idea at the end of the day. How much time we got? Less than, we got 11 seconds left on this Valk ultimate. So hopefully by the time that's up, we will send in our our first set of, of tank busters and uh, we will hope that they will do well. We still got to wait for cost. So that that is unfortunate. How are we doing on Praetis cost is in a good spot. So let's see. Let's see how we do with this. So we will start off with the Shadow Casters, the Axe Slaughterers. Probably should have checked Maul's. There we go. Well, we got clipped by Maul, unfortunately. That's too bad. But uh, let's speed it up and see if we can't get the... Oh, he's going down. There's a big shield. Does that mean we're going to get popped? I think that does mean that we're going to get popped. See, now this is the problem here. Now, we've only got a minute and a half left. Valx is back up. How's Praetis looking? Praetis just popped his. So that's not wonderful. <laughs> Let's, uh, what are we going to do here? At the end of the day, I don't know that there's much that we can do. Well... Let's see. He's about to pop his shield again. Kind of tempted to wait that out. 
We send in one of these guys, and we'll get back up to 10 cost. Hopefully his shield will be down by the time that, that happens. There's his shield. That's what we wanted to see. Turn it back on one time speed. And we're going to drop in our tank busters again and hope for better results this time. Praetis did just pop his, his ultimate, so that, that, could, that could throw a wrench in the works for sure. But there we got, we got him down once. Can we get him down twice with this same set? I don't know. Yeah, we can, apparently. Now, the question is, can we get... There's Valk. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we are good, guys. So I think we out BP'd that a little bit. Truth be told, my, my strategy was not perfect. But, uh, oh, no, there's one left. I Don't get overconfident. I think Praetis killed one of the three that was going in. That was dumb on my part. I don't know that I would have made it in anyway. Uh, but, well, shit. Okay. Is what it is. I'm going to try a different defense just because I want to play around here. Uh, and there are some tough teams. There's a lot of Praetis teams on here. So I'm going to come back with a different one that is... Uh, it's got Pelagios in it. it. It looks a little bit tougher. Uh, it's got higher BP for sure. So we're going to see how that goes. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So... We are going to try this defense. As promised, there is that Pelagios defense. You can see the BP is significantly higher at about 460,000. So I'm a little skeptical that I'm going to be able to take this broke here down. On the plus side, they do not have Vortex in there healing him. So I think that it will be uh, maybe kind of not quite as hard as I'm thinking it's going to be. But we're going to give it a go as is. So generally speaking, the plan is going to be to send in initially, just like before, we're going to send in four of these uh, rare tank killers on the, on the far right hand side. We're going to do that right at, right off the, the go. Uh, so as soon as this starts, we're going to send them in. Hopefully they're going to get broke here down uh, and pop some ultimates. That is the main plan. We'll follow up with a Pharaoh to keep the ultimates rolling. And then when we have an opportunity, we're going to try to send in dogs to take out Valkyra. Uh, after Valkyra is down, I think we'll have an easier time getting, um, getting uh, broke here down uh, because It'll be harder for him to kill our our tanks, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be a rough one. I, I'm a little worried that we're just going to get decimated, honestly, but um, I got to use the attacks, right? And I, I'd like to use them on an interesting team, especially in a a match that we've we, we've more or less won at this point. So um, we're, we got a little bit of latitude to play around. So uh, that, that's the plan. Um, let's see if it works. So we're going to click on to broke here, one time speed is one. Wait for it to update. There we go. And two. And we'll see how this goes. We should be able to get in before Pelagios or ooh, it's going to be tight on Valkyra. But I think I think we'll be able to get him down. There's the unyielding. So we got that. That is good. I'm going to put it back on one X speed. We're just going to see how long we got on this. So. I don't want to pop Praetis' ultimate before we're ready to. So right now, Pelagios is regenning. Valkyra is still working on hers. So we'll drop right now. We're going to get another one of these out. Hopefully they won't be able to kill it. That is the hope. And uh, let's see, Pelagios, we're, we're going to wait for the next Pelagios ultimate to go out. Hopefully Valks is going to go out as well, and then we will be able to send in dogs. That is the plan. See if it works out. Pelagios still has time. I don't, I don't love the timing on this, truth be told. Uh, don't love the timing. This Valk is about to pop hers, I think, right? Yeah, there she goes. She's about to pop it. So we're going to have to wait that out. We don't really have a choice because if I drop anything else right now, she is going to destroy it. Uh, that That is is certain. Um, it is a fully skilled up Valk. You can tell because she's got a 30 second duration on her ultimate. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm not feeling great about this and the way it's going so far. Uh, I do love these Pharaoh tanks, though. Quite impressive. Maybe we're going to have a window. If my Pharaohs can stay alive long enough... Uh, we might we might have a window here. Depends on how fast. Yeah, we might we might be able to do it. Pelagios is not regenerating his his rage very quickly, so uh, we might have some time. Let's see. 
We can do double dogs. One more second off. There we go. There's one and two. And hopefully four of these are going to run past right now. That's the hope. There we go. There we go. And we're in. There we go. That one's so bad. What was I worried about? Hmm? I should probably stop dancing every time. I know I look like an idiot. <laughs> but I, I, I got to say, I do. Uh, I am really having a lot of fun with this. Honestly, I do enjoy this game mode a lot. I do feel like arena in this game is kind of lacking. So for me, this is the PVP. Uh, and uh, that is always what I gravitate towards at endgame. So uh, really enjoying this. I'm going to be back with one more fight. I know I've done a lot of them today, but I am trying to attack a, uh, a lot of different defenses. So hopefully uh, this is helpful to you guys as I go through all these all these greatest defenses. All right, we're going to come back. We're going to do one more attempt at this defense. So I have changed things up a little bit. The last time I did have the Pharaoh guards in there. I'm not going to be doing that this time. So the plan is going to be, again, to go in with these rare tanks. I know I'm kind of doing similar defenses right here, but this is how we iterate and try to figure out what's going to work best. When I watched the replay, it seemed as though my timing was a little bit off because uh, I, and honestly, I also was kind of Screwed by the fact that my Pharaoh Guard was still up in there. So when I sent in the uh, the Axe Slaughterers and the Shadowcasters, what ended up happening, one of the Shadowcasters just walked right by because Brokir's block was maxed out. And uh, that meant that the Shadowcaster just got eaten up by, by uh, Valkyra's ultimate, the second ultimate. The other thing that happened with that, because I sent the Pharaoh Guard out, I ended up Having the uh, the axe slaughters and the uh, Jesus, I have to say these things over and over again. The axe slaughters and the shadow casters. I just can't talk. When I sent those out, I, I sent them out a little bit late and ended up having them up during Valkyra's second ultimate, and that that ended up killing them a lot quicker than they would have otherwise. I think I might have been able to take out Broke here if that was not the case. So uh, I'm hoping that's the case. I did. I brought in dogs instead of the Pharaoh guards. Uh, I think that I'll be able to run past and kill Valkyra. Uh, at the end with those if uh, if needed. So that's that's the plan right now. We're going to see if it works. Let's give it a go. Last last battle of the day. This is the last unbeaten defense that is on their, on their side at this point too. So we can do this. I was a little slow on that. That's not great. But I think we'll still be able to pop his unyielding. And that is the only thing that really matters for these guys. So let's get him in there. Oh, there we go. There's the unyielding. All right, we're going to put it back on 1x speed. There's Valkyra's ultimate. She's going to destroy them. That's for sure. Now, so you can see this one only has a 25 second ultimate duration. So she's not fully skilled up, which, which does make a big difference and was part of the reason why my timing was off before. I didn't realize that. So... Let's see here. We got 12 seconds left. I think if we get down to six, we should be good. Seven. We should be good now. Okay. So, Shadowcasters. It's the Axe Slaughters. Let's see if this works out a little bit better. There, he's down once. Can we get him a second time? Can we get him down? Yeah, baby. That's what we were looking for. All right. Now, I doubt we're going to get Valk's... If Valk could get her ultimate off, that would be wonderful. I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. Oh, it did. Okay. Well, look at that. So... I think we'll, we'll bait with these guys, and then we'll just send in dogs. If we can get one more cost, that is. As long as we don't get stopped by Maul, we should be good. Yeah, we're good. All right. So uh, not my most successful day from a win-loss perspective, but I do feel like I was able to beat every defense that I wasn't able to beat the first time. So uh, that is a little feather in the cap as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Challenged myself a little bit today, and I took on some defenses that hadn't been beaten, and I was able to get them down. So pretty happy with that. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please do like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content. Uh, one note that I will say, I, I have heard some of you have told me that you want to see more Central Keep action. I, I wanted to do that today. Unfortunately, 
the central keeps were uh, kind of decimated for the most part, except for that first one that I that I did uh, today. Everything else was was pretty much down to uh, less than 30 remaining health on it. And I didn't want to waste my attacks next week. I'm going to make a point to attack more central keeps. So uh, I've heard you. I'm going to give you what you want. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Good luck on your own attacks. I hope you all have a great day.